you very much, Pat. Well done, my friend. And I'd like to uh, acknowledge the presence of our dignitaries tonight on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, representing the Government of Canada, representing the Government of Canada, the Minister of Sports and Sports, Minister of Sports, the Honourable Gary Lund. Accompanying Mr. Lund tonight, accompanying Mr. Lund, Cher Siobhan Cody. She is the local MP of St. John South Mount Pearl. Representing La Province, representing the province of Newfoundland Labrador, the Honorary Clyde Jackman, Minister of Tourism, Culture and Recreation. And a gentleman you all know very well, His Worship Mayor Dennis O'Keefe. Et nous avons l'honneur d'avoir euh, le député, chef exécutif de la, de la direction de, Van, de Covent, les gentlemen, le député, CEO de Van Ock, Mr. Dave Cobb. Et j'aimerais inviter à l'instant Kelly Hutton pour nous interpréter notre hymne national. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to invite a local singer, Kelly Hutton, singing our national anthem. to meet the hero, or one of the heroes of the day, ladies and gentlemen of Community Torch Bear, Pat Harfey. Oh, here, Pat. That is yours, my friend. You get to hold another item today there. Pat, it must have been pretty amazing to, because this is an amazing site, I must say, by the way, we've done a few of these since the start of the relay, and St. John's, this is a real fun place to have an event tonight. This is amazing. That being said, it must have been pretty amazing as you came over the, the crest of the hill here and you saw the people down there waiting for you. What, what was going through your mind as you were coming down there? Well, I was really happy to see that because uh, it's really important that St. John supports the Olympics and it's support in a big way today from Signal Hill to here. It was fantastic to hear everybody cheering. And tell us how you found out about this whole Torch Fair adventure. Is this a surprise to you? Is it, did people kind of cue you in that this was going to happen in your case? No, they didn't. This was a, just total, up, of it. This was a total surprise. Uh, Jill Brewer contacted me and said some committee had some news for me. And that was the first I ever heard of it. And I'm delighted that they selected me. Thank you very much. Well, while you were doing all the work out there, we were discussing here with the crowd about how the Olympic flame represents a symbol of peace hope, friendship, creating a better world, a better Canada, a better St. John's. Do you have a message that you would like to share with your community here tonight? Well, I think that the Olympic Games for us matters today that Guju wins his game and gets into the Olympics. <laughs> yeah. Local hero. Yeah. And hopefully that will happen. And then all of us are going to be supporting the Canadian guys in, the, in February, particularly the hockey team. red gloves on in front of the TV <laughs> and I think all of us here understand that the Olympics stands for uh, peace uh, interrelationships between people keeping politics out of sport doing our best 
congratulating the loser and being good winners and we're all supportive of those Olympic ideals. Yeah. Well, my dear sir, you have totally understood the principle of the Olympics. Ladies and gentlemen, Pat Barfi, your community yeah. And now uh, we will thank our dignitaries. We will be talking to you very soon, gentlemen. Thank you very much for being with us. And they'll be back later, don't worry. I think we have a little video to play our friends. Go, Canada, go! Il avoir l'énergie, la foule, c'est vraiment une énergie incroyable de sentir ça. C'est la neige qui bouge en dessous de toi. C'est vraiment transféré directement en énergie. Moi, je suis pas content d'avoir Nous, on compétitionne, on est très focusé sur ce qu'on fait. Mais si on a des gens qui sont là pour nous encourager, c'est une façon physique de nous démontrer leur encouragement. C'est une super belle initiative. Yeah. Go Canada, go! Oh, 